Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a hands-on look at a very interesting product that's called IQ. It claims to be a smart at-home vision testing system. I say it's a kit because it actually includes three products inside. What's called the PD Check, the Insight Plus, which is what is going to test your color sensitivity and visual acuity, and finally, your eyesight, uh, whether or not you need new glasses, what your prescription um, degrees should be at, and it will give you a number that you can then use to get lenses from and order yourself without needing to even visit your eye doctor. You can just do this at the convenience of your home, create regular checkups, and it would be a great example of technology making things more convenient for most folks. They can also be picked up separately. So for example, if all you need is to take a look at how many degrees your eyes are at, all you want is the vision check. This can be purchased separately, I believe. The PD check is probably their cheapest, which sells for around, I think, $15 or $20. So you can pick and match or get the kit. All you need is a smartphone. Now the phone itself does need to have at least a full HD display for it to work. It's uh, basically gonna take a look at an image and then send it through uh, the lens on the device, which you can also adjust the focus, and then it will sync using Bluetooth to your device to tell you what that focus adjusts to. The color checker and acuity checker reminds me of a VR goggle. In fact, it's kind of just an adopted VR lens kit where you put your phone inside and then pre begin the test. So it's a very clever kind of uh, implementation of hardware that we have seen before, but for a very different purpose. And they also have what looks like reviews on here, which are not kind of the fake type that uh, some manufacturers would use. It's actually based on Trustpilot. So you can see they are real reviews with an average of three out of five stars. What's interesting though is the part of ordering your glasses uh, you do still have to do yourself. Uh, it's interesting that their business model doesn't have a part where they're also having a store or some type of deal where they can order things for you but you have to still look elsewhere to actually buy the glasses afterwards. That gives you freedom, but at the same time, I have seen some uh, glass sellers that are a bit more picky and do require kind of a doctor's authorization or signature before uh, selling you the glasses. Uh, some other websites are less picky. You can simply enter your numbers and they will send it to you. But again, depending on the source, uh, that might pose a slight issue, but uh, you can always then go in with those numbers, confirm them with your doctor, and uh, go from there. And this little rubber part is actually an adapter for the VR helmet. Uh, you can actually put the controller in here and make it uh, easier to grip and hold using two hands. Top of the briefcase also includes some kind of fun little stickers to decorate the accessories with, in addition to instruction manuals for all the individual parts, as well as additional straps and attachments for the VR goggle accessory and a microfiber cleaning cloth for ensuring everything is clean. Taking a closer look at these products, starting with the Vision Check system, uh, again, this uses Bluetooth to connect to your phone and it also recharges using micro USB. Afterwards, you tap on this key for a few seconds to turn it on and pair it, and on the very top, there are touch sensitive controls. Basically, throughout the test, it will say, Are you able to see it? If not, you can uh, actually adjust the focus to be closer to your eye, further away, by tapping on these keys, which are are touch sensitive. The part here is basically sticky so it attaches firmly onto one spot on your phone screen. It doesn't really leave a mark though but just prevents it from sliding around and then you're simply able to kind of look into it. The insight for acuity, contrast, and color sensitivity is again really like a VR helmet, there's two ways of wearing it. One, which is just putting your phone directly into this elastic band by popping off this plastic plate here. So again, super similar to a VR helmet and the phone just snaps into place. But if this is too loose or not secure enough for you, that's why they include the other accessory and we can attach it like so for a more secure fitting. Um, otherwise, again, this is what it looks like from the other side. So pretty typical. And this just changes the distance apart for the lens, uh, the left and right sides, to make it a bit more comfortable. And here is the controller for the insight popped onto this uh, little handle. It makes it a bit more comfortable to use. Again, it pairs using Bluetooth and also charges using micro USB. Finally, the PD check, which is uh, to measure your pulpillary distance, is uh, simply a plastic pair of glasses, at least it seems, and then using the app, it's able to detect uh, kind of how far away uh, your two eyes are from each other when you are getting prescription lenses and glasses. It also is another number you need to input. But basically how it's able to do this is using the three T marks on the very top, the T here, the T here, and the T here. And using the camera, when you open up the app, it's able to take kind of a selfie 
then it's just relying on augmented reality to measure um, you know, how far away your eyes are from each other uh, because they know the length of this pair of glasses since they manufacture it. So they're able to calculate the relative distance apart from your eyes. Just a quick look at the app, so if we tap on the vision check first, um, it will tell us that it actually takes three tests before it will unlock your numbers. So just for higher accuracy, it wants to repeat those and then find the average of those results. And then we can tap on the test icon here, tap on start. Welcome to IQ. To get started, press and hold the power button on the side of the device for five seconds to enter the Bluetooth pairing mode. So they really tried to make things really simple to understand. Everything is spoken out loud. Then you attach it onto the region as displayed on your phone. You can also do a practice session, and it also allows you to check, have you removed your glasses? Are you sure that the screen is clean, that you've removed a screen protector? And then you can begin the test. Even if we zoom all the way in, uh, basically what you're seeing in person is like looking through a VR goggle. You're able to actually see kind of a letter um, and a faint line, and if it's clear, and uh, if it's not clear, you have to adjust the focus using the two keys here. As you can hear there, there is kind of a sound, and there's also a haptic vibration engine that buzzes as confirmation when you're moving things around. Now, when it comes to the accuracy of the results, what I will say, though, is it does seem to be pretty decent, although sometimes a little bit higher, even with the three combined averages, than uh, the results that you may obtain from the doctor, but, but not by much. But it makes sense for IQ to kind of lean on the side of slightly more aggressive results, just because when you're getting your glasses, you, they do want the effect to be more obvious. Uh, but I will say that the margin of error here is reasonable, and it works surprisingly well when it comes to translating those results into glasses that uh, do seem similar as the numbers to the actual prescription lenses that I'm currently wearing. As for the Insight Plus, this part does seem to work a bit more nicely in terms of the accuracy, um, and it's a bit more fun as well, just like a game almost. The dashboard is separate, so you have to install a different app for every single product, uh, but overall, it uh, takes up very little space. We have three tabs, one for vi visual acuity, one for color, whether or not you have any uh, potentially clinical conditions to look into, and what they kind of correspond to, so whether or not you're able to have a bit of uh, kind of color blindness perhaps, and if that is indeed the case, then you should again contact your doctor to look into that more. Uh, so it does these annual checkups that you can look through and also contrast for your eyes. Testing process is also very simple. You can do separate tests for every type of activity, and you need to just pair with the Bluetooth remote and begin. Finally, with a PD check uh, the glasses, there's a separate app here. This is the simplest, which as aforementioned, it basically just uh, uses augmented reality and your front facing lens. So raise it to your face, capture an image, and then it will scan and process it. So that's more or less it for our hands-on look at the IQ at Home Vision testing kit. I think that the concept here is very clever. It's almost bordering on genius. Uh, the entire concept of doing these tests at home using products and concepts which are pretty familiar to us to create results which are uh, meaningful on our health is definitely a worthy of applause. And I think that it does work surprisingly well overall, especially the insight for color accuracy um, and acuity does work without too many issues. The vision check also does work and the accuracy I'd say is acceptable within a good range uh, if you were to check in with your doctors. Certainly if you're doing a few tests yourself sporadically in between different months, it can also be a good way to track are your eyes degrading or not. And if if so, that's perhaps when you want to follow up with a doctor for a more serious and professional consultations. So you can check out more details if you are interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video, really just taking a hands-on look and sharing with you guys that this device, this idea exists. Uh, that's been the IQ at Home Vision Test Gadget System. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.